Hi everyone. Uh, today is the second lecture of uh, shading. So we will learn very simple rendering model. It is a uh, Lambertian model. We will we will learn the illumination model and what is the light source and what is the material. And then we will learn how to model it in, in computer graphics. And then we will learn the pong shading. So it, in first step, we will learn Lambertian, the rendering method we will learn and we will practice in WebGL code. Okay, first we think that the, in computer graphics, the, we can, we imagine that we can draw like this, the high quality rendering of picture. Okay, so. Of course, it is the computer graphics rendered image, but you can see that, that there is a, some kind of a shadow is casted, and then there is a, some kind of refraction is in in glasses and and eyes, and also there are some kind of a reflection on on some surface like that, and there are so many so many the complex images occurred in this image but think about it and finally if we, the view of in pixel one pixel view then it is just r g b value so maybe it is 8 bit red color the 8 bit green 8 bit uh, blue the final result is the 8-bit red and red, 8-bit green and 8-bit blue channel image. So the final result can be uh, will be the the, the 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 RGB color. So in in device the presentation layer. Okay. So input is. There are so many models of geometry on shapes on and then and then we will modeling of light source and, and materials of surface and materials inside of glasses, materials in this thick the green glasses and then some liquid material inside of a cup. Then we model it and put it in, in into the computer graphics system. And then, and then, then the the rendering is is the calculation of the number of photon comes into camera. So we need to set our camera position. This camera is located in here, some some with some distance, and then watching this point, and then in camera view, in in sensor. There are so many photons will will touch the sensor, then it is scaled into human perception range, and then it is it must be changed into device range. But it is a basic operation of modeling or something of in computer graphics rendering, computer graphics rendering. But think about it. In case of a, it is quite the approximated value. But in case of a sixty watt, the the light source, there are five point six multiplied ten power of, power of twenty photons per second. In every second, the five point six multiplied ten power of twenty photons will be emitted from this light source. Even if just one six one sixty watt light bulb, but think about it in sun. Think about it, very big light source. So how many photons? It is not possible to calculate that number of photons. So, and we must think about the device range. Okay, if 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 we display on, for example, in the 20 in, 20 inch screen with 60 watt, then it will be to 5.6 multiplied 10 power of 20 
the photons will be emitted by that screen, but it is not possible to make it. Is it possible to make it the very, very bright like um, sunlight in sunlight? The the quality sunlight quantity of photon can be displayed in this display. No, it is not possible. No, it must not possible, because if it is possible, then we can get some damage of our eye or something. So, it is not possible. If we, if we draw sun, it is not, not a, the, 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 the brightness of sun. Of course it is not. We just the scale down to our perception range. If, we, if, we, if our monitor can display the same quantity of energy with the sun, it, of course, it is. It will be very dangerous. Okay, so it is not possible. So we need to change into our human perception range, and then it should be changed into device range. Finally, we need. We just only set that value is so red is zero from zero to two hundred fifty-five, and green is zero from zero to two hundred fifty-five. Blue is zero point from zero to two hundred fifty-five. Okay, so this area is RGB is zero zero zero. Okay, maybe this white area will be one point zero one point zero one point zero, but internally it will be displayed. It will be changed into two hundred fifty-five or two something. That's all. That's all we can express in computer graphics. We can express only RGB colors. So. Therefore, we need to set some model of illumination. So we need to simplify it. We cannot, we cannot simulate all nature of light and material and object. It is not possible. So we need to make model. The first thing we need to make the we, we need to model of light source, okay? Maybe there are so many light source, for example, sun, maybe, and we have some kind of a light bulbs, and then we, we can use the candle, or it is kind, uh, it's kind of a neon sign. Neon, neon is also the, the very good example of light source, okay? They emit photon to the world. They emit photon to the world with some direction or with some range. They emit photon to space. Okay? That is light source. So we need to more we need to much more simplified example. So simpler simplified the computer graphics in mathematical model of a light source is First thing is point source. We assume that very small, small point, very small point in 3D space, and then we assume that in in all direction, all direction, x direction, y direction, z direction, in all direction they emit photon to all direction. It is point light, point light. So it is very similar to the candle, for example. Okay. Second thing is parallel light. Okay. Parallel light is if the point light is almost almost the infinite distance, and then and and it is point source, but it its energy is almost infinity, and then we can get this kind of parallel light. It is directional light. So, in case of point light, we, we can define the light with, with the first thing is, with the, we, we can display, we can uh, define this point light source with x, y, z position because it is located in 3D space. And then we can define the energy emitted from this point. Also, we can, in case of 
direction light, we can define the intensity. We, sometimes we call it intensity of photon or in, intensity of uh, light rays. So we can define intensity and direction. Dr direction may be x, y, z direction. Okay, so it can be normalized or not. It, it is very simple direction. Okay, so light to source direction. Okay, then second thing is. Third thing is surface light. In case of a, in our room, in our home, there is some kind of a very reflection plate in here. So in the inside of this plate, there is some kind of LED light or some fluorescent light is located in inside it. And then it, it is, it, this area is working like a light source. So we sometimes we call it the surface light. And then the final thing is spotlight. Spotlight is the correct spelling is the now spotlight is is one word. Okay? It is not. Okay? So one word. Spotlight is, is it is used in stage. So the in they have shoot the light in some direction but it, it it spread so center area is bright and the, the outside area is going down so if you draw some kind of intensity of light then you do like the, this so the so boundary area is a dark area and the center area is very the, the, the bright area and then if we can draw it 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 is very very specific light. For example, we can define like that. So, all energy is is centered. So, for example, in case of laser, laser is has this kind of property of spotlight. So, just one direction. It is not spread. It is spread, but very tiny quantity of spread is in 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 case of laser. So, spotlight is like this. Okay. So generally we use we use this we use this four kind of uh, uh, the light source model. We use it. We use them. Okay. And then and then sometimes sometimes we need to consider that if it is it, the, the direction of light is we can assume that its distance is almost infinity and the quantity of the the energy size of energy is almost infinity so if it, the material material object is located in here or located in here there is no this no difference between in in this the direction of light case but in point light or spotlight case it is spread so if if the object in here if object in here, then the the energy will be reduced. So we call it we call it it is attenuation attenuation attenuation. So in simple mathematical model, so quite easy to it is going to all directions. So it is the the inverse. Uh, the distance, if distance is d, then d square, one of these squares, it, it is it is decay late. So, but actually it is not true, but as a, as a, uh, uh, theoretically or ideally, so in case of a spotlight or a point light, the, the proportional, inverse proportional to distance square. So, it is so, so simplified in mathematical model. So, the, it, it is possible to decay the, with the distance. Okay. Sometimes we need to consider it distance from object surface to light source to decide the energy reached to surface. Okay. And then we need to de define material. Okay. So in very simple view. So, in microscopic view, it is quite 
complex system. The material is quite complex. But in computer graphics, we we define the material with a very macro define. For example, there is some kind of a absorption and then some kind of a radiation and some kind of a there is will be some kind of a refraction and then there is some kind of a reflection okay and then it is possible to there is a deflection deflection is if the, the angle is too too sharp sharp this angle is too 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 sharp then it it it, it it is not absorbed by or reflected in the, it is not going inside of material it is reflected so it, we, we can call it as a deflection okay so with that macro the the property of mat material then we can we can uh, the render the material with about with respect to the light source okay for example, it and also it has some kind of some property of of color. It means that the if some color is absorbed, the absorption has occurred in some color. It, it is absorbed by this material, but some color is reflected. So, for example, for example, uh, this red materials. It is, it is observed the the other colors and reflect reflect only red colors, so it looks red red color. Okay, I think you learned in in elementary school. So, so some something is some some color is a special reflection. Some some color is not reflected some color is diffracted so color by color it 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 has different different the, the properties for example in case of aluminum aluminum all example in that case the, the the reflection is in in this the the color the the if we put uh, shoot uh, shoot the the all range of color, then it we can see that the the this range of color color wavelengths wavelength color is much more big uh, reflection. So it main color of aluminum alloy is this color. So I think it is somewhat the five hundred fifty, well five hundred twenty. I think it is somewhat yeah. Some, some in between uh, red from red to green or something. So it, but the but other energy is also if it it, it this graph is look, look like this, then it is clearly it is green color maybe if it is green. Green color, but it, so other color also has the the very big quantity of uh, the other color is added, so it is almost the gray color. So almost gray color, but there is we can feel that some greenish color can we can feel that. Okay, so so it, uh, think about it. It, it, it. We can modeling the material aluminum alloy material with this graph. So. Then we can decide the color or rendering with this color, color graph. So if we use this color graph, we call it, it is physically, physically based rendering. Rendering, okay. In case of physically based rendering, then we can use this graph for rendering. But it is not easy. So in general we use just general rgb color for setting the reflection color absorption color deflection color or reflection color then we just use rgb and plus alpha to to express transparency okay so 
in most simplified model, we can we can um, we can define the ref reflection with two kind of reflection. The, the one is diffuse. Second thing is specular. Okay. Okay. Diffuse material and specular material. Okay. That is, if if in microscopic view, if there, the surface is very smooth, like uh, for example, mirror. If if it is mirror, then one almost one hundred percent, ninety nine percent lay. If lay, the so light lay is come to the surface, then it is reflect with the, the, the normal vector, it is normal vector, then so just the opposite direction, same angle, opposite direction with the surface normal, it is reflected to this direction, okay? So, if viewer, viewer eye is in here, then viewer can only can see this lay only okay it is not possible to see this area and this area maybe it is possible to see this small part of ray but in it is not possible to see this way it is because it this ray is not going into the, the eye lens okay that is we call it a specular reflection specular reflection but some in case of very the it is surface is very the, the tough. For example, this this thing is very tough, and sometimes we can say that oh yeah, the paper is very good example. Okay, so it is very tough. Oh, I think it is smooth. No, in in microscopic view. The surface of this paper is very tough and it, 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 it looks like it, it, it is very random. So, incoming rays is explored on the surface. It's all direction. It is, it is reflected to all direction. Okay, like this. So, viewer, in, viewer can see every part of this surface. For example, you can see every part of this paper, okay, with the same color. So it is diffuse material, okay, it is diffuse material. So, so, so we can, uh, we can, we can, if we can see, if light source in, is there, then we can see in this direction, so it means that this object is has diffuse reflection property. Okay. Okay. Oh, this the the this URL is 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 very good site for running the reflection and shading. So it is very good example, and that they made some kind of a WebGL code with the the render. Okay. So please look for this site. And then, okay, surface is, surface can be heavy, have two types. Very smooth surface and rough surface. Rough surface means it is diffuse surface, okay? And if it is smooth, then it will have the specular, okay? Okay, extreme case of a smooth surface is mirror. Extreme case of a Rough surface is maybe we can say that it is uh, it is this kind of a fabric or paper. It is almost one hundred percent diffuse object. But in general, is a specular and diffuse is mixed. Okay, so ten percent specular and ninety percent diffuse object. That kind of combination of mixture of specular and diffuse object in general material. Okay. So, so it is possible to render with these two models, the diffuse color and specular color. Okay, so we need to set up some. We need to set up some 
some model of illumination. Illumination, okay? The first thing is, it just have only one color. For example, neon, sun, in that case, it has only one color. So, do you remember that the, we start the WebGL programming with triangle? Okay, if we can assume that, okay, that triangle emit yellow color ray, it is neon sign made the, the, the in back, back side, it is, there, there are some kind of light source with yellow, then that kind of yellow triangle will be displayed in the surface. If it is black as I withdraw the yellow triangle, then you can say that, oh yeah, it, in triangle, that triangle is emit yellow color. That is, okay, then we can, we can define the color with that. So, for example, one, one, each vertex is one, one, zero, one, one, zero, the, the one, one, zero color. So, it, in this triangle, all vertex generate one, one, zero, so all inside of triangle area, it is, it, it looks like emitting the yellow color or yellow color um, dashboard or banner board. The backside, there is some kind of white color. Or, or it is very simple case. In case of TFT LCD, it, they display the yellow color in display. So in that case, we need, we only, it, it is possible to express this triangle color with radiation model. Okay. So sometimes we call it, it is this radiation model. Radiation model. Sometimes we can call it, it is, it is ambient, but the ambient is different. So in in real life in real life we need to it is very hard to block all light from uh, from the outside of of, of the of light source we model it for example in in perfectly black bar, black room so the, it is, if it is not possible to, to any light can go inside a box, then if we draw something, for example, we draw a cube, and then we define the one light, then if light, emit, light is emitting this direction, then this side will be perfectly black. Okay, zero comma zero comma zero. Okay, it is so natural. But in in real world. The, I have a light source in here. In this direction, there is a, some kind of light source. Think about it. Then, but I put that light in here. But this side is also has color. It, it does not look like black. It is because the window is open and, and, and very small light is came from here. So, so, so in real life, the, there is a, some small life. life light is it came from other outside or it is came from reflected light is came from around the, the room and then it is going into this direction so sometimes this is very hard to modeling everything so we need to set ambient color so ambient color is very small dark ray it is minimum light it is it is, it is set as a, some kind of a, the, so, uh, even though it is very dark area, even though they have this kind quality, this quantity of light is emitted. So we can set it as an ambient light. Uh, for example, in, in sound land, sound, the we, if we record some voice or something, song or playing, then everybody shut up. Then we can, if we turn on um, turn on volume, sound volume to maximum. Then we can we can we can notice that there is uh, some kind of a noise. Shh, noise is we can feel that. 
Sometimes we call it it is ambient noise. The, but in general, we cannot feel that ambient noise because the, the ambient noise is always there. So, so, so our sensing device is that sensing device ignore the, the ambient noise because it is too small and it is too annoying thing to if we sensing every time. So we uh, concentrate on conversation or music or something. So, so ambient is some kind of environment. It means that environmental, okay? And then we can calculate diffuse color. Uh, this book has some kind of a blue color in here. Of course, it is diffuse object. And then if it is almost the same direction with with light source, there is some kind of very shiny, shiny things occurred in. You can you can see the light shape of light source or something. Okay, so that reflection is specular. Okay, specular. In this case, it is specular. So, and then if we add ambient and diffusion specular, then we say that it is Pong reflection model. Pong is name of computographic scientist, okay, computer scientist. So Pong is name, name of some scientist. Then he mod modeled that, this model, ambient diffusion specular, added to one, to, we can render this thing. Just to add ambient color and diff calculate ambient color and diffusion color and specular, and we add this where, for example, is 10% and 40% and 50%, then we can get this image. So, so sometimes it is very simple model. So, they, they don't have a shadow or reflex, refraction or something. Or some reflection does not appear in this shading model. So, we, we can add this thing, for example, you can see that the, the, the floor, checkboard floor is somewhat distorted. So it means that there is some kind of refraction, okay? In Korean, so the, the culture is, there is some kind of refraction, okay? For example, in this, the, I think it, 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 it looks like some kind of a metal ball. So metal ball reflect, reflect, yeah, and, okay? Reflect this uh, the, the the glass ball and the floor checkboard floor is reflected to this area. So reflection calculation, so shadow casting. This kind of picture is done by ray tracing technology. Ray tracing technology. The sometimes we mm, sometimes some the very basic level of ray tracing is possible in real time graphic card. For example, mm, some modern uh, computer uh, GPU like uh, the brand new the, the GPU like uh, two, 200, 2080 NVIDIA or AMD Radeon new, new graphic card can can handle ray tracing with real time. It is possible. But normally the smartphone GPU is not possible to is not possible to do ray tracing. If it is possible, but the problem is the, the battery consumption is too big to if we turn on ray tracing. There are so many computation is required to calculate this thing. Even though we turn on the ray tracing, so sometimes we need to draw this thing because, for example, let's think about diffuse. What does it mean diffuse? Diffuse means that if rays come to this surface, then they absorb other colors, and then this surface is reflect only that color to all direction. Reflect, that is diffusion. So if there is some light source in here, then if it's very, very red wall is in here, then 
light is go come going to in this direction and then red color is emitted to all directions so this area this area and this area is uh, some kind of a reddish okay same as this this this, this right the, the wall is perfectly green but even though it this wall top wall and front wall and floor wall floor is white color or gray color then the, this green color is is you, you can see that some green colors in this area it is so natural but think about it to calculate these things so we need to consider as this area is some kind of a very if if the energy is 100 maybe 10 energy is going to here the reflection energy is 8 8 is 8 energy is the working like the aerial light source so we need to calculate all direction then how much touch it so it is because distance is near so it is the, the, the 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.1 that kind of calcul all calculation is needed to compute this effect it need huge computation okay huge computation is required to calculate this thing so we call it global illumination global illumination okay global illumination and ray tracing is for very realistic photorealistic result we, we can get but the the computation is the the, the requirement of computation is to increase hugely so so if model is simple then we can get the get poor quality image but it is low computation is is only needed for rendering but if we are going to this direction then we need more computation but you can get more good quality of rendering okay so but in our web course we will go to here the pong reflection model so how to increase the 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 the, the maximum quality of the rendering is the pong shading okay so we will let the, we will that we will learn the very theoretical the background of ray tracing and um, global illumination but we will not practice with the web gel okay sometimes it is not possible to practice okay okay let's go to pong model in pong model we need to as an input data we need to information of first we need information of okay i will change the pen color then we need information of light source position or direction okay light model we need if there is a light in here then we need to as an input we need light position or light direction is required and then in each vertex of course each vertex maybe there are so many vertex okay like that in this point we need normal vector of this point okay normal vector okay normal vector is i said that so in in 2d come to the line in this point p there is some kind of we can if p is expressed like a pt is x function t comma y function t then then the the this this direction is we can call that the vt tangent vector is x yeah if we get some kind of a derivative then we can get some kind of tangent vector if we rotate 90 degree of tangent vector then we can get the normal vector okay same as in the surface you can get in this point you can get some kind of tangential plane you can get if if if, if you can get tangent vector tangent 
plane, then the perpendicular to this tangent plane is the normal vector. Okay, we use normal vector as in general we use normal vector as some kind of a normalized form. Normalized form means that size of, uh, for example, is an x. The size of uh, this uh, vector is one point zero. So. Normally, we use this normal vector as normalized form, okay? And we need to know the position of eye or camera, okay? okay? It is because you are watching this direction. So, if, if, if it is reflected, then then I change the, the direction, then if it is correct, correctly ad adjusted to, to light source and, and viewing direction, then you, you can see that very shiny part, okay? So, to calculate, to calculate uh, specular reflection, we need to know that the, the eye position, okay, camera position. And then, R is the, the same angle, and same angle, it is reflected to, to, to normal vector, then it's a reflection angle. So it is very easily we can calculate with normal vector and light vector, then we can calculate the R vector. Okay, so, and we, and we need the vector of uh, the position of light and direction, and then we need to know the the point po in in point. We need to know the normal vector. We need to know the position of uh, the viewer. Then then with that we we can calculate the reflection vector, and then also it has some kind of the quanti the quantity, so intensity of light. Okay, and then. The material color, and then specular color. We need to 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 know the color property of each the diffusion specular and ambient color component. It, color is needed to calculate the color final color of this point. It is pong shading. Pung shading calculate ambient color, diffusion color, and specular color. And then it generates the, the pixel color for RGB. Okay? So, so, with that model, then we can calculate the pung shading. Okay? Reflector is like this. So we can calculate and dot product and we can calculate the two multiply Light so light direction and then normal direction and multiply normal direction minus L light direction, then we can calculate it. It is quite easy. And first step is we, we must calculate the, the diffuse color. So if we uh, if if the, the material surface is perfect, perfectly diffuse diffuse material, then we some we call it is it is Lamb Lambertian surface. So Lambertian surface is very special case of uh, diffusion model is one hundred percent diffuse. Okay. In that case in that case in that case you can okay the you can see this this yellow yellow paper then if it is directed to light source, then it is changed into bright. But if it is the 90, 90 degree the perpendicular to light source, it will be the minimum light it received from light source. So it is only calculation is required is the, the dot product with light source and normal vector. Normal vector is in here. If normal vector is the direction of light, then it will be maximum. Okay, it is because 
the the inner product is for example l dot n means that the size of l and the size of n then multiplies cosine theta okay so cosine theta means if it is 0 degree it will have 1.0 if it is the the minus minus 180 the 180 degree it, it will have a minus one and then if it is perpendicular to this then it is it will have 0, 0.0 so okay we can get only we can get with the dot product we can get the we can get the, the, the brightness of this surface so 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 of, of course we need to the the the, the, the diffuse color. So diffuse color. So in this case, diffuse color is yellow, of course. And then light source also has some kind of color. If it is red light, then we can see red color in this surface. Okay. Is if it is blue light, then maybe it will be black. Okay. Because the all other color is absorbed by this surface, then, then only red and green color is reflected. So this surface is yellow color. So if light source is blue color, then it will be became very dark. Okay. And then let's try to make it some kind of a Lambertian shading with to, to make it, the problem is simple. The, we will use the very parallel light. And then parallel has only have some kind of direction, so so it does not have some kind of attenuation by distance, or we don't have to calculate the distance or something. And we will add, uh, and then we 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 need normal vector, so we need to change the no, the normal vector. We need to add normal vector in all all vertex attributes. So all vertex has some normal vector okay and then i will change that code and then we we calculate some some the, the, with dot product with light source and normal vector then we can get get some some value then we will clamp into to zero to one point zero because minus one is is not good because minus light is not thinkable it is not possible to draw minus color so minus means that opposite direction of light source then we will use zero okay clamp means that if the value is very wide but clamp means that if it is over this range then all value is in if we clamp into 0 0.0 to 1.0 so all minus value will be changed into 0, 0 0.0 all 2.0 and the, the greater than 1.0 that value will be changed into 1.0 that is clamping okay clamp okay let's program it it is okay i made the folder folder name is uh, shader on the bar flat shader on the flat and then i made some it is copied from shader base, shader on the basic, and then I changed code to show something. So I added some rotation, and then I will reload it. Then, oh, sometimes some people ask to me, so if I changed, when I changed the, the code, but if I reload with Control R in Chrome browser, it does not work. In case of we use some some local web web server, then we we need sometimes the Chrome browser automatically the caching the, the the script file to reload everything. Then you should push Control Shift R. Then it will it will reload the JavaScript code. Okay. Then toggle animation. I changed it into. X rotate and Y rotate because I I know I should know that there's some some color changing of each each faces okay so I added that 
that in rendering the matrix for from y rotate with y rotate and then x rotate i added x rotate twice quickly and then matrix and matrix is we use matrix matrix so again then the, the rotation matrix is multiplied with m matrix and then save it to m matrix okay and then we need to change the the vertex so in vertex data we have vertex position vertex color and UV coordinate for UV coordinate for uh, for okay UV coordinate for texture and then we need to add normal vector so okay I'll mark Okay, which we added that <coughs> mark and then we need to change okay initialize buffer then we need to change shader so we need to add one more thing UV and <coughs> high p factor my normal okay it is three dimensional three so and then okay we need to we will use later we will use IP back three and V and we need to one more thing we need to bearing to and okay the, the we will use later okay so in that is vertex shader so we need to add two more thing the v and is so we need to bearing and then uh, okay then we need to get okay one more attribute we need to add location my normal <coughs> and then no sorry it should be changed into three and then normal yes, normal okay normal okay and then it is normal vector and parameter location and then we need to change to some some drawing option okay. location 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 and that the problem is the we need to change because the in attribute the the <coughs> data is much more data is added so we need to add one two more thing two y y to y y p i'll remove this comment then the attribute to three i'll use three three and then it is vector three vector then it's number of attribute then three component it is protein point and then not normalized and then it is we need to to do we need to add two more two protein point later so it is eight byte it is 36 but um, totally we added three more protein point the each protein point is four byte so we need to add 12 byte okay so 48 48 48 48 Let's check the code currently. <coughs> Reload it. Uh oh, there is error. Let's check it. Uncut error 100. Invent uh, unexpected token 103. 103. 
I think something wrong, so I will reload it. Then I will relearn the, the Mongo server. Then, okay, it lo it 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 looks well. The public icon. Some, I think it is some problem over icon loading. Some I, I cannot remember. I cannot I I cannot know that. But okay, it works. Okay, let's make a uh, very simple shading with parallel light. Let's let's think about it. So the box is in here, so light source in here. So for example, with the x minus one and uh, and and the upper direction one and z is minus one. Okay, so let's let's make it the light is in light is okay of course light is back to three light is uh, okay back three okay uh, x is minus 1.0 and then okay so upper direction is 1.0 and then the jet direction is minus one okay this direction okay then so we need to normalize it okay normalize light okay. then it is changed into uh, so unit uh, the, the distance is the, so it is divided into square root three and then so we need to calculate with the color so we need to calculate color with the we need to calculate color with this uh, normal vector and um, like this. So, so we need to calculate Lambert is dot product with the light and light and uh, uh, my normal but the problem is there is some kind of problem okay uh, it will be return value will be minus one to one so we need to scale so I will set max the comma zero then if it is smaller than zero, then it will be returned to zero. Okay, is okay. That that works. Let's check the code, and then the Lambert is should be the. It is kind of a scalar value, so I will multiply with color. Okay, insert Lambert. Multiply my color. Okay, let's check the result. Okay. Reload it. Oh, there is error. Okay, Lambert is not defined. Okay. Okay. Oh, float. Lambert. Okay. What does another error is? Yes, okay. Right and reload it. Okay, max. Is there any no max? Max. Dot product. Lighten my normal. Oh, yeah. It, it should be plotting point. Load it. Okay. I will check with rotation. There is no change. Okay, let's check it. Dot product and light and my normal. 
then max value my color okay the problem is I think the shading so my color has Lambert so I will use Lambert color so only they use the okay I'll remove it texture only so program color is my color okay it's color I will change it color multiply 0 0.5 plus uh, 0 0.5 multiply okay I will 90% 80% the color and 20% texture color right and then it looks very strange but it's uh, the model is so rotating but there is uh, some kind of white bright area and dark area so mm. there is uh, some problem okay it doesn't look natural it is because why it is because the, we change the position and and we need we need to rotate with with uh, the, the normal vector should be changed by rotating of rotation of the model okay but if that that normal vector doesn't change at all so we need to change it okay there was some problem because the, the model, our cube is rotating, but the normal vector is not rotating, so it was problem. But the, but there is a, some kind of a, uh, some technical issue. When, the, it is, some people think that oh yeah, if there is a, some normal vector in this circle, okay like this, then okay there is a, some kind of transform matrix, then transform it. And then, okay, we can calculate with vertex plus normal vector, then it will be transformed like this, okay? But think about it. It is not a normal vector, for example. This is, oh, it, it is work correctly, okay? It works well, okay? It works well. But in this area, normal vector is not here. So it, the normal vector should be, normal vector should be, this is, Correct normal vector. The transformed uh, V plus N minus N with vertex that is not a normal vector. Correct normal vector. It is because normal vector should be here. So it is different to to just the, the addition and transformation is not working. Okay. So we need to change. The normal vector transformation matrix, normal vector transformation matrix is transpose of inverse of model model view transformation. Okay. Why? Why? So let 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 uh, the the model matrix is M. Then we we, will, we want to calculate normal matrix transformation. Okay. So if we we can, for example, in, in plane, we can think that it is some vector is in here. It's a, it is Q and R. So the, if, if a vector Q, Q minus R, then this vector, okay? In this point, the normal vector is N. If it is normal vector is N, then N vector, N vector dot product with we, we call it V vector, V vector, then it should be, it is zero because it is normal vector. So, so we can calculate this one. Then, so we, we want to change some, we want to transform with matrix, then the, we will, we transform the cube, cube vertex and R vertex, then, then the, we, we, we minus it, then we can get we can get matrix multiply q minus r. Then q minus r is v vector. So the matrix multiply v vector is new vector. Okay, new vector. 
So, new vector mv and new normal, so if it, it is n prime, n prime, n, n prime, and v, the new vector v prime with, with dot product, then it should be zero. Okay, it should be zero. So, we can transpose, transpose with with n and m, then we can change it dot product with multiply. Okay, okay. A vector dot product b vector is a vector transpose multiply b. So we can change it this equation. Then transpose into distributed to do that. Then transpose n and transpose the n matrix and and multiply multiply n matrix pre vector the, but think about it transpose n transpose v is n dot product v product so it is zero the, this two part if we, we can multiply with this two part, then it should be zero. So, so, so to make it zero, then, then the, the, this part must be identity matrix. So transpose n, transpose n, multiply m matrix should be identity matrix. If it is not identity, then they will change the value. Then, if that that they uh, the transpose and value is changed, then the, the the n multiply v cannot be zero. So, we can say that the, it is identity matrix. So, we want to calculate n. So, the, we we will multiply m in in last m inverse, then multiply m inverse, then m will be this, okay, then this will be, okay, then if we transpose again, then it will be n, then transpose m inverse, okay, so n matrix is transpose of m inverse matrix okay so we can calculate the n with transpose o transpose of inverse matrix of m so let's let's add this this thing into our code okay okay let's make uh, the the normal matrix so i will add uniform value o then it is n matrix I will change it into normal matrix. So normal, okay, normal matrix, and then, um, okay, the the normal vector will be changed into transformed into the by the so normal matrix. So, okay, let's set the the the, the right position is one point one point one, and then let's set the Oh yeah, there is n, so so I will use n. So the new normal vector is so normal matrix multiply my normal. Okay, then we calculate the new normal vector, and then we can calculate with dot product with normal. Then we can get Lambert value. Okay. Lambert is. Then we can send it. this color is send to it. To, to this color is multiplied to to my color. Okay, so this will be scalar value. So I will copy it in in in, in and, and I paste it, and my color as multiply 
the max value with the product okay so then so light is normalized the my normal vector is normal matrix multiply so my normal so sometimes it is some problem if this normal matrix is uh, somewhat is there if there is some kind of big scaling then it will make problems so I will normalize the n also okay position and then the point size is not used to it and the color is dot n multiply my color okay then send text texture and then my color should be used so I will in pragmatic shader I will use a color plus 0, 0.0 multiply I will turn up texture okay then this because the matrix multiplication error in vertex it is because my normal is okay so it, it should be changed into factor 4 okay point zero okay and then it it and must be okay changed into factor 3 again okay so sorry I did not make some metrics so we need to send okay um, uh, the the M matrix the normal matrix so let's search the P matrix okay so next 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 p matrix is in here so the, we need to check the the p matrix in normal matrix is yes. then we need to change yeah, normal matrix and normal matrix is uh, the inverse transpose and of inverse of M matrix so so okay Be variable the no normal matrix is okay then need to send a normal matrix is the matrix pool that okay uh, mm, transpose of okay normal mat and then it should be normal matrix okay then matrix pull for us we need to inverse inverse and normal matrix say so inverse the we, we need to inverse the the model matrix okay and model matrix inverse and the save into normal matrix and normal matrix is transposed to normal matrix and then we need to send it to uh, so shaders so we will send as normal matrix and normal matrix okay right okay and then let's check the source code result there's some kind of error matrix dot inverse is not a function okay let's check the identity invert invert okay the the input parameter is out and in so invert t okay T right and then reload it okay yes it works well I think yeah you can see that something very because light in, is in 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 this direction so so the, the back side it, it, it should be black this is somewhat very strange okay so so I will use the minimum value of shader color so I will set to 0 
two, then the color will be will be send it to shader, not black. Okay, let's check the code. So there is a, some kind of dark thing. Is it it works like it's ambient color? Yes, it works quite well. In next class, we will learn how to turn on this specular highlight. Okay, bye.